Hello friends, the story I brought to you today is called, And Your Mother Too. This story is about two teenage Mexican boys who go to a tour with an adult girl, and then their life changes forever. So let's see what happened with them in this tour. This story is about two teenage boys named Tenoch and Julio. Tenoch is from a rich family. His father is a high-rank government official, whereas Julio is from a middle-class family. Though this story has nothing to do with their financial status, Tenoch and Julio are best friends. They don't have any secrets between them. They are line open books to each other. They know everything about each other's life in detail. Because they passed their time together, when they passed high school, they had a lot of free time. They passed these free times romancing and partying with their girlfriend. But in this vacation, both of the girls are going to Europe with their parents. So Tenoch and Julio decided that in this vacation, they will pass their time taking drugs with one of their addicted friends. But Tenoch had to attend a family party, where his full family was present. Attending this party was so important for Tenoch because the president will join the party. His father wants every one of his family to meet the president. Tenoch invites over his closest friend Julio in this party, but for him, this party is boring because this party has more bodyguards than guests. Suddenly, his eyes catch a beautiful girl who is standing alone in the corner. Her name was Luisa. She was almost 10 years older than Julio and Tenoch. She's an adult. Tenoch and Julio started talking to Luisa. Then his cousin, Yano, comes in. Actually, Luisa was Yano's wife. Tenoch didn't know that Yano, who has just come back from abroad, is Luisa's husband. Many years back, Yano went to Europe to stay with her aunt, where Luisa was caretaker of his aunt. After his aunt died, Yano got married to Luisa, and then settled there. Even though Tenoch has already met Luisa some years back, this was not the case here, because he was a kid back then. When Tenoch and Julio found out that Luisa is Yano's wife, they became frustrated that how on earth Yano found a beautiful girl like Luisa. When Luisa says she wants to see the beautiful beaches, Tenoch and Julio started to flirt with her, as if they know everything about all the beaches of Mexico. They talked about a beach that was so rare and only some fishermen know about the beach. The beach is called Heaven's Mouth, which is a very beautiful place. When you reach there, you'll feel like a piece of heaven has fallen onto the ground. Tenoch and Julio said that they're going to that beach for a tour. They also invited Luisa to go with them. After the party ends, Luisa had to see a doctor because she had some medical reports to collect. When Luisa meets the doctor, she received very bad news. According to the report, Luisa was diagnosed with cancer. Her cancer was so brutal that she has no hope left for her. She has little time to live her life. Luisa doesn't want to tell her husband Yano about her disease because Yano is going to achieve something very big in his life. He's going to be a professor in a very popular university. She doesn't want to make him sad telling him about her disease. That night, when Luisa was talking to Yano on the phone, then drunk Yano said that he loves her so much, but still he cheated on her. But Luisa accepts the fact because this kind of thing doesn't matter in Luisa's life anymore. She only had a very little life ahead of her, and she wants to live it on her own. Next morning, Luisa called Tenoch, because last day he said he was going on a trip to a beach named Heaven's Mouth with his friend Julio. But in reality, Tenoch and Julio were not going on any tour. They just wanted to impress Luisa. Even the things they talked about, the beach Heaven's Mouth, has no presence in this world. They just made it up. One of his drug addict friends told him about this beach, who can never be trusted. Since Luisa called Tenoch and requested him to take her with him on the tour, they must go somewhere. They don't want to lose the chance of spending time with Luisa at any cost. Then Tenoch and Julio went to their addicted friend and asked for the address of the beach, about which he had told them once. Then he was drunk and placed his finger on a map and said this was the address to the magical island. That evening, the two friends and Luisa started driving a long road ahead of them, which they didn't even know if it existed or not. Tenoch borrowed the car from his sister in the condition that he will drive her for three weeks and will help her boyfriend to distribute relief for the poor. Tenoch and Julio were driving through the countryside of Mexico with Luisa. Luisa didn't know that Tenoch and Julio didn't know anything about that magical island, and they were following a drunk friend's direction to reach the imaginary location. But the question is, does Luisa care about anything bad happening to her? The answer is, she doesn't care if she gets in any trouble while going on a tour with Tenoch and Julio because the biggest trouble of her life is already there that she has to take care of. Luisa told no one about her cancer, and she only has a short time left. 
While traveling, Louisa told them that she is a dental technician, and she took this degree because she got this degree in a very short period of time. Right after getting her degree, she got a job and then she started taking care of Yano's aunt, where she met Yano and got married. But she also said that Yano was not her first boyfriend. When Luisa was a teenager, like them, she had a boyfriend with whom she used to go on rides in his motorcycle. One day his boyfriend died in a motorcycle accident. She loved him so much, and that's why she likes traveling. That night they stayed in a hotel. Here Luisa stays in one room, and Tenoch and Julio stayed in another separate room. At night they were spying in Luisa's room. They thought they could see Luisa's beauty for a split second, but they found her sad and crying in her room. The two boys didn't know what Luisa was going through. What's wrong with her? Next day they started their journey again. They were driving and smoking weed. They had a good amount of weed with them that was supplied by their friend. They call it monkey shit, which is so strong. Suddenly he saw a signboard of a village and remembered that when he was a kid one of his babysitters was from this village. As a kid, Tenoch knew her as his mother. He becomes a little emotional thinking about his nani, babysitter. Now they're far, far away from the urban area. Now they're on the countryside with full of mountains and not so developed roads. But still their destination was far away. Still they didn't know anything about Heaven's Mouth. Tenoch, Julio, and Luisa were talking about their boyfriend and girlfriend the whole time. Tenoch and Julio was trying to make Luisa understand that they were very mature and they had so many relationships prior to their girlfriends. The whole journey, they talked about erotic things. Suddenly, their car stopped working near a village, so they had to stop their journey. They gave their car to a garage and stayed that night in the village. Here Luisa called her husband Yano to leave an emotional voicemail. She said that she wanted to disappear from his life like she never existed, but now she thinks that would be very rude and inappropriate. So she said farewell to him and asked him to take care of himself. Their room was separate in this hotel too. Tenoch and Julio stayed in one room and Luisa in another. That evening, Tenoch was taking a shower, and to find the shampoo, he got out of the bathroom. But he saw that Luisa was in his room and asking Tenoch to take off his clothes, and they made relations between them. Since Tenoch is a teenager, he thought that he had disappointed Luisa. While Tenoch and Luisa were making love, Julio came into the room and saw them. Then he felt very sad. He was very sad because he remembered a scene when he was a kid. He remembered that when he was a kid and came back home after playing, he saw his mom with his grandfather. But he didn't tell anyone about this. Julio was sitting beside the hotel pool quietly. After some time, Tenoch also comes there and he was so happy because he made love with Luisa, which he dreamed about two days earlier. But Julio was sad and maybe he was jealous of Tenoch because Luisa made love with Tenoch rather than him. Julio was not happy about Tenoch, and that is why today he wanted to tell him something which he never told him. Julio said to him that he slept with his girlfriend, Ina. Both of them were drunk then, and mistakenly, they made love with each other. That night, Tenoch and Julio was so tense. Tenoch was very upset about the fact that his girlfriend cheated with him for his friend. He tried to kill Julio, but Julio sat on his knees and apologized to him, so he forgave him. But after that, both of them were tensed again. They were not talking to each other. The journey was going on like this. Luisa thought that last night she made love with Tenoch, so Julio is angry with him for this. So she also made love with Julio in the car to make him feel better and equal. After making love with Luisa, Julio thought that he had also disappointed Luisa. Luisa didn't know that both the friends were tensed about something else. After driving for a while, suddenly Tenoch said that once he has also made love with Julio's girlfriend Cecilia. After that, they both started fighting again, and they started to scream at each other. When Luisa tried to make them calm, Julio pushed her away and Luisa became very angry. So she took all of her belongings and started walking for the nearest bus stop. For this, Tenoch and Julio had to patch up with each other. Tenoch sat on his knees and asked for forgiveness because last night he forgave him doing this. Then they managed to make Luisa come with them again. Julio asked for forgiveness for pushing her away. Then they started driving for the magical heaven's mouth. At night, Julio takes a turn to a broken road because he doesn't know where to go now. They are just going in one direction, then their car gets stuck in mud, and they had to stay there for a whole night. At morning, they saw a beach ahead of them. The beach is totally empty and quiet. They set their tent in the beach. They were spending a good time on the beach. All of them were passing time on the beach in short dresses and were drinking beer. Their car was full with beer. Then they saw a fisherman in the ocean who told them that he had chilled beer with him and he wanted to take them to magical Heaven's Mouth. Tenoch and Julio's friend had told them the truth about Heaven's Mouth. He was not telling a lie. He was so drunk, yet he gave them the right direction. 
But it could be like this, that Tenoch and Julio found the beach like Christopher Columbus. Three of them get on the fisherman's boat and reached Heaven's Mouth. Here they stayed with the fisherman's family. They were having so much fun here, but when they were coming back to the beach where they have set their tent, they saw that a group of pigs had destroyed their tent. So they had to go back to the village. This night all of them were so drunk that they had no idea what they were talking about. In a room, Tenoch and Julio made love with Luisa together, and all of them were happy about it. But while making love with Luisa, Tenoch and Julio started kissing each other. The next morning, when Tenoch and Julio woke up, they were ashamed for what they did last night. Tenoch even started throwing up. Now they need to get back to their city. Their adventure had ended, but Luisa doesn't want to go back. She wants to stay here for some days. So she stayed there. While getting back to their city, Tenoch and Julio weren't talking to each other that much, because they were ashamed about last night. When they got back home, they were not spending time that much with each other. They also broke up with each other's girlfriends, because they started to think Tenoch and Julio were cheating with them. Tenoch thought that his girlfriend was cheating with him for Julio, and Julio thought his girlfriend was cheating with him for Tenoch. But in reality, they didn't have any relations with the girlfriends. But it is possible that watching Luisa making love with Tenoch, Julio became upset. So Julio wanted to make him feel sad also, so he told them that he made love with his girlfriend. On the other hand, while Luisa was making love with Julio, Tenoch felt very upset and told Julio that he also made love with his girlfriend once. After everything that happened, after the tour their friendship was not like usual. They stopped meeting with each other. Years later when they met again, Julio asked Tenoch about Luisa. Then Tenoch said to him that Luisa has already died. She died one month after the tour, she had cancer. Tenoch also said that Luisa knew she had cancer, but she still was not upset in front of them for a split second. She wanted to enjoy every minute of her life, so she stayed there. At the end of the movie, we found out that this was the last meeting of Tenoch and Julio. After that, they never met again. And with this, the film ends here. Hope you liked this story. If so, please like and share this video. And do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching the video.